Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the week of August 15th to the 21st in the vertical planner that I use as my catch-all planner. Catch-all is just the planner that catches everything that doesn't belong in a different planner. So if you have a separate work planner, it wouldn't get any work stuff. Um, it's, it's like family stuff and household stuff and pet stuff. The stuff that doesn't belong in another planner. And that, of course, assumes you have more than one planner. If you only have one planner, then that's your catch-all planner. So, all right, so the theme I'm gonna go with comes to us from the, the hashtag is HPTNT challenge. That stands for happy planning tips and tricks. You don't have to be a happy planner. This is the big face group book group that I'm one of the, the leaders of, and I administer the challenge, and I'm always all about um, saving the bees, any opportunity to throw, uh, do something like um, Earth Day or whatever, uh, uh, definitely concerned about the bees. Not that I love bees, I don't like getting stung by a bee any better than anybody else, but they are vital. I grew up on a farm, they're vital to agriculture. So anyway, um, I feel like August is like a yellow-orange month. Not quite fall browns, but um, I like doing a bee spread in August. So enough of that. Let's get going. So what I want to do, something I haven't done in a little while, I wanted to talk about scrapbook paper that's not big enough to cover your entire page. So if you watch my dashboard spreads, those those videos post on Saturdays, you know I love to cover the left hand side of my dashboard with a full piece of scrapbook paper. But lots of times we run into, we find scrapbook paper that we love and it's like a six by six instead of a 12 by 12 or it's not big enough to cover the entire page. If you, if you have the means and you love it, get it anyway because there are lots of options for things to do. Um, so this gray, yellow and gray bee scrapbook paper, I found this on Amazon. Um, loved it, didn't pay close enough attention to realize it wasn't quite big enough to cover an entire page. So recently I did a spread where I just, I like kept the dates and used washi tape across the top. So that's definitely one way. Just replacing, like putting a strip in is one way. There's lots of ways. I, today I'm going to rip the pages and cover corners. So I definitely want to cover this corner and probably for balance I'll do, um, I want to do a corner on this side as well. Maybe this one, but probably this one. We'll do something kind of weekend banner-ish. So there's that. And then I also have this one. I also got off Amazon. This one is, I love this one. Tell the Bees Special Edition. This one is 12 by 12. These are pretty heavy. Um, and I have replaced the left-hand side of my page with this. Um, but here's what I thought. I saw these, like the old-fashioned beehives and what what shape are they they're those quote unquote tombstone stickers so we're gonna use those as our fact of the days but and I also like to use hexagons for the beehive the honeycomb shape and I want to do something to anchor both of those shapes in the spread so I thought well we'll just we'll just do both we'll do layered so the pages in this book, there are four copies of each page because each page is double-sided and that way you have two pages of each design if you only can use one side. So I'm just going to rip one of these out. I could easily cover the entire page. I don't want to do a blackout spread though, so here's what we're going to do. Um, and I also feel like it's pretty dark and heavy, so what I thought I would do is rip rip just like like this section of these off right here. I can kind of rip along there and that'll fit there. But then I want to also bring in the hexagon shape um, and I want to lighten it up a little bit. So in here there are a couple of pages that have the hexagon and that are kind of dark. Like I feel like these two pads of paper match pretty well. So at first I thought this one because it's super dark, but it doesn't have the hexagons. So I'm just, this one's nice and dark and it also, it does have the hexagons. So I'm foreseeing gold foil shapes on this one just because there aren't really a lot of yellow shapes. So let's pull this page out as well of this sticker book or scrapbook paper pad. Mm. And it's not even pulling out even, so there we go. All right, and these, unfortunately, even if they were big enough to cover an entire page, there aren't 
multiple copies of some of these pages and they're they're double sided but it's on this it's the same one so I mean yes technically there are two pages but you can't use it as two pages so anyway all right so we're gonna do my paper ripping technique and I'm gonna put these two together somehow um, to bring in the hexagon shape and the beehive the tombstone half arch shape so let's start by ripping so one of the things I like to talk about when I rip well first of all if we come clear up here and grab this cluster of beehives it'll cover that up so that's good and then I, I think I'll kind of just rip in between down this corner like in between these sections so the question is do I rip this way up or do I rip down in other words this way up and it all depends on where you want the white edge to be so I want it to more softly taper into my white page so I'm gonna rip this piece up and that'll give me the white edge on the corner that I'm keeping here I'll show you so there see see how I'm getting a white edge if I was ripping down in the opposite direction the white edge would be here but I want the white edge here so that it more it more naturally kind of like tapers to the white part of the page that I'm sticking it onto. so just kind of ripping like I said down along in between those clusters of beehives there we go so now I can tape runner this right on here in the corner and now if I do fact of the day boxes that are this shape, like clusters of them, I'm thinking since there are like three here, I'm thinking I can do, I can do three kind of staggered and that'll be my three fact of the day boxes. Um, and then I want a B, right? I want a B with it. So I can also maybe take and rip off, let's see, if I have this one kind of taper and that'll give me the B the giant B and the hexagon shape so that that feels like it's integrated and then up here I could do like hexagons for I could do a cluster of three hexagons for these three things you know what I mean and so yeah I'm liking this okay so I just need to pick out a B I kind of wanted one that wasn't super straight um, and then I need to figure out how I'm gonna like, do I want to keep it all in this corner or do I maybe want to put the B over here and come across this way and just have it a lot? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. But like I said, I kind of want the B to look like it's flying toward the beehive, like this guy. Um, but, you know, this uneven edge doesn't really matter because I could almost do, like... Ooh, I could do like this. What if I turn it this way? I need the corner to be down here. Those guys are going the wrong direction. If I go this way, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is what I need to do. I need these two guys, and I need to rip it this way. So let's do that. I need to rip to about, if I want this uneven edge to kind of tuck under this one. So I obviously want to start... Uh, okay, so again, I want the white edge to be on this piece, so I need to rip it down. So this is much, this is thicker, like cardstock paper. This is super thin, like printer paper, office paper. So I just need to make sure I rip across far enough. So that goes there, and that goes there. If I come down around like through here, that'll be, that'll be good. I want to leave plenty of room for my fact of the day boxes. There. All right. So let's start. I think I want to tuck that under. Let's start. I'm going to grab some paper to protect my desk. This is actually, I know normally I use wax paper, but I don't need to see through it. And this is a little bit smaller piece. This is just the backing off of a piece of, um, contact paper that I used for a different project, but nothing will stick to it because it had contact paper stuck to it. So let's put this one on first because I want it underneath. Oops. Yeah, that's the side I'm keeping. 
So I need to glue, and this is a little bit too wide, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that off. There we go. All right, so glue on this side. Okay, and then we'll do this one. And I will link both of these scrapbook paper pads, since I got them on Amazon, I will link them both in the description box just to save you a little bit of time trying to find them, so. Oh, I love it, okay, cool. It takes up a lot of my page, but I can bring some of my my stickers down onto it. So over here now, um, I need to decide, do I want to keep this down here? Because I kind of feel like I was going to put it up here. But here now I'm thinking, um, like the, it feels like the beehive should be sitting on the ground. You know what I mean? So I think I want to change gears and keep it down here. And I don't want to go keep it m mirrored, right? I don't want black again here and yellow again here. So I think I'm going to mirror it and do yellow here and black here. So, so that means I need, and I don't have, I, I'm, as you can see, I don't have much going on at all. So that gives me plenty of space. I can keep everything up. I can keep my, um, my beehive fact of the day boxes here, which incidentally, my fact of the day box, it just, I started it with COVID. I was, I was um, not having a whole lot I needed to write in my planner. And so it's just some little tidbit. It could be personal. It could be from the national news that caught my attention. While I'm talking to you, I'm going to go ahead and start ripping this. So again, I want to rip like in between the clusters of beehives. So I'm going to come through here. Again, I'm going to rip this corner down so the white edge ends up on the paper. So, but um, fact of the day boxes. So just something I started doing and I've kind of kept up with it because, oops. Okay, we can fix that. There we go. Uh, just something I've kept up because I have since um, started multiple planners. I could, could I squeeze everything? Could I write really, really tiny and squeeze everything into one planner? I absolutely could. Um, someday maybe I'll show you. I didn't start out with a dashboard as my social media. When I started doing social media stuff more in earnest, um, I put it in my catch-all and oh my gosh, was that ever crowded? Um, but I mean, I made it work. It just, it, it, I didn't, I started having not enough room for the level of stickering that I wanted to do, you know? So, all right. So the B can be going, can be, okay, these two, these two. I mean, the bees can be going in any direction, except that I want them to go toward the beehives. So... I know you all, it's clear to you all because you're watching this and you're saying, no, no, do that corner there, turn that that way. <laughs> I'm not hearing you, sorry. <laughs> Dyslexic brain, not computing. All right, I think I want these two. Um, no, that guy's gonna be covered up. I can rip closer here. I don't need that whole entire section of flowers. So let's rip that a little closer. There. All right, so now if I put that there, and I also can shift it that way a little bit if I need to, um, and just trim that. So if I come to about here, and I rip, that works. Okay, so let's, same thing, I wanna rip the corner that I'm keeping on the page down so that it gets whatever white bit there might be. So if I put that there, and I slide this close enough that the B is showing completely, I need to just rip down to there. So I'm just gonna slide this over, I'm gonna glue this on, slid over far enough that this guy doesn't get chopped when I trim that edge. Since I didn't stick that down really hard or for very long, get ripped up a little bit easier. I'll just make sure I get glue on either side of the spot where I, I misripped it and that way it'll be stuck down no problem. Yeah, you can't even tell I ripped it right there. Okay, awesome. Good start so far. 
So let's go ahead now and get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and put my Fact of the Day boxes on there. So I'm just going to come in here. Hopefully I have enough of the gold arched stickers because um, I just used them here. I'm going to use these exact same ones actually. I could use black though. So if I don't have seven of the gold, I can switch gears and go to black and it's not going to hurt a thing. Here we go. Oh yeah, I got tons. Okay, so obviously this one's going to go, I don't want to cover up too much. So I'm just going to stagger these. See how that looks? It's the same shape as the beehive. Perfect. Okay. Same thing over here. I'm going to have to start way up high. Since this is just pla black paper right in here, I can bring this down quite a bit lower. Fact of the days are done. And honestly, that's all I wanted those half circles for. Now I want to switch to hexagons. Um, for, for I can put two together there, like the beehive, right? The um, honeycomb. I will show you, I incidentally, I have um, a video on how I made this sticker book, just multiple copies of the same book stuck together. I will try to remember to link that in the cards up above. Here we go. This is what I want. So I think I want a big one for my manicure. My manicures. Um, and then I can do... So in nature, nothing's that, that perfect. So it's I can stick a small and a big together and it'll be okay and then just noticing so these have the flat up instead of the point so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one the same way if I can get it so the dots aren't diagonal there we go of course it's cut funny but that's okay as long as they're connected it'll be it'll get it'll give me the effect that I'm looking for you know Okay, and then over here, same thing. I want a big one for the manicure. Maybe I'll move it over here. Two small ones. So my niece's birthday and his um, drawing group. So most of that sticker is on Wednesday. So that tells me, yes, it's a Wednesday thing. And then his group. Again, this one is is a Tuesday thing, and that's okay. This is obviously mostly on Tuesday so there we go so now I've got I've got the actual honeycomb and I've got the the hives so done and done so now I still need a couple to-do lists and um, my food so I can pull gold gold regular rectangles for those or I can do Mojo Jojo plans or I can do black, but I'm actually kind of liking the gold. So I have the yellow Mojo Jojo plans. This is from the rainbow set. I was thinking I would use these. Let's just see, like the brown color on these. So there's a couple to-do lists. I could do that. And then a lined box for the food. I don't know. What should I do? Should I do brown or should I, should I do gold? Let me cold, pull the gold ones too and we'll try to decide. All right, so here, here are the gold. Um, I think I wanna do work hard and be nice for my weekend banner. Um, I kinda want it to have some black to it though. So since I never use these, I have tons of the black ones. I think I'm just gonna pull it also in black, but then layer them so that the words don't actually show. I'll show you what I mean. Cause like I never use these as weekend banners. I think dream plan. No, I want the work hard and be nice because the letters are super small. It'll be easy to layer it and here we go, cover up. So work hard to save the bees, be nice to them. They're not going to sting you, you know? <laughs> okay, so if I lay this just so that it covers up. Okay, I feel like the shadow should be underneath. So, oops, I almost did it upside down. So I'm going to put this just, can you see what I'm doing? Just so that it covers up. Okay, I need my, my paper again. I'm going to put this down. 
and then I'm gonna put this on top so that it covers up the white letters underneath. And there, it's like it's got a shadow. And then I've got the gold and the black so that it fits better, I feel like, with the rest of the spread. Here, okay, gold lined box. So now pretty much my to-do is gonna have to go right there because that's the only space I have left. So if to-do goes there, I can put meal planning down a little bit and then I'll put my early week coffee because you know I like to have a coffee sticker on there um, over top of the meal planning box. So there's that. The only problem I have with these to-do bullet point lists these original happy planner ones is that they only have four bullet points and so in the past I have used a white jelly roll to draw in more but that's not going to work very well on foil so I just need to decide if I'm okay with only having four bullet points and then I also wanted to look in here are the, I can't remember if this is the book that has the functional words it does not. So I don't I don't actually think I'm gonna end up using this book. Um, oops, so food is done. Let's grab while well, I'm thinking about it in the back of my head a little bit. Um, let me grab my meal plan stickers. Here we go. Oh, I have a decision to make. So I have a lot of black down here. I have a little bit of black up here. I feel like I could do those in black and that would be okay. It would help balance. So I do have Mojo Jojo plans black. These have one, two, three, four, five. Plus then I can draw in more of the dots. So, but I don't have that book out. I have this book out. So let's just go ahead and grab these. Let's just go ahead and grab two of these. And I can, that way I can show you then what I mean about the jelly roll. Okay, so first thing is, you notice that the four dots are closer to the top than the bottom. So I'm going to turn it around. And that way, when I put a functional word up there, it's, got, it's not going to cover up the first one. And then I'm going to grab my jelly roll. And we'll go ahead and draw in one more in between each of the existing ones. There we go. Bam, I have seven bullet points on that list. And then keeping with the gold and the black together, like these are layered, let's grab two skinny gold boxes and put on there. And that way, here are these, I can put my functional words inside. So I'm gonna let that dry and clean up a little bit and I'll be back. All right, so um, one last thing I wanna do, I, I have, this is very heavy down here, there's a lot down here. So I pulled my Girl Boss Anna overlay tapes in kind of a golden yellow color to put, um, these are from the Bay Represent. It was two different blues and two different yellows. Um, so I'm going to put these over the days of the week. The um, I'm going to use the wide ones so I need to play a little bit with where exactly they land. Like it's okay if they cover up the numbers a little bit. It's also okay if they come down a little bit onto the page. Now, as you can see, I can totally put them on here just, just flat. But they're they're a little wonky, and if I do that, then they're lined up exactly, and you can note it makes the repeat. I think to me a little more noticeable. So I like to hand place them, and that way they're not quite exactly lined up perfectly um, so I don't notice the repeat as much. I also like to turn them opposite, one right side up, the, uh, the next one upside down, you know what I mean? Again, to just break up and randomize a little bit more that exact repeat. So they just barely fit actually, right like that. Now I do want to tuck this one under this box because um, when you put something over foil, to me at least, it seems extremely, extremely noticeable. So I'm going to just pull up this edge of this box so I can tuck underneath it. So I'm going to speed it up while I do this, the rest of this side and the other side. 
So we brought a little more color up to the top. And like I said, these are overlay tapes. They're meant for the number, the letters to show through underneath. I could even put one over August if I wanted to. Let's do it. Uh, this one nice thing about the particular planner I just randomly chose to use this year, I'm not thinking about that ahead of time, is that it's nice and small so I can put it on there. And then I did go ahead and grab some of my own printed words. I use these most often in my um, my dashboard planner, but I do have some generic, like just, I call these my functional words because they're giving you my action words or my functional words because they're, they're verbs, right? They're telling you, hey, this is important, make sure you do it or don't forget it or, um, and I do need to trim them a little closer. That was my first try at doing them. I don't have a video specifically on those, but I do on my DIY playlist have a video on printing your own prompts and it's the same thing. Just any old generic spreadsheet program will work. Um, they're great for that because the little rows and boxes are perfect for putting words in and sizing. Um, but I have a little excess uh, sticker paper around these because like I said it was my very first time trying to do it and I want to minimize what shows over what sticks over the foil so it doesn't make it look kind of foggy. I want it to stay shiny. Let's find some kitties on a coffee cup to put on here. So here are my seasonal, like my summer seasonal stickers. I don't think I have any that have, oh, I was just going to say, I don't think I have anything that do with bumblebees, but right there she's got honey. It says honey on there. So we got to stick her on there. These are the fat cat designs. This is Flora. And so this is all the different Floras. That's the character's name, but can you see? Focus. There we go. See, it says honey and it's got a little bumblebee. So the pink doesn't go per se, but um, that's okay. It's a tiny little bit of pink. I'm just going to stick her right there. I did not think I had any that had anything to do with bees. And there you go. So we'll just quickly flip through the rest of my seasonal ones. Here's springtime. These are a little bigger. Nope, I don't see anything that has anything to do with honey there. Here's summer. So flowers. Um, lots of gardening and flower stickers. Those are in the house. Not really anything. I mean, flowers. You need the bees for the flowers. That one's got butterflies. Fourth of July. Here, this one's super hot, like the sunshine. So this one actually doesn't have to do with bees, but it definitely says summer and the colors all work. Black and yellow and orange. So let's put one of these on there. These are from Sweet Ava's Paper. This, this character's name is Pumpkin. And the whole theme is that it's too hot. Let's, let's hide Pumpkin down here. And then there's Fourth of July. And then I think I get into like summer nights and fall mostly and then of course football season and Halloween so lots of Halloween stickers those are going to be so fun to use okay um yeah and then we're getting into winter so let's see I kind of like this I'm just now looking for one some stickers that fit the color scheme so yellow and black so this one is just sitting in a moon so I could put, I feel like this one could go up here with like the weekend. I don't know why, it just feels like something, staying up late on the weekend and late enough to see the moon because summer days are so stinking long. And then there's this one, um, catching fireflies, but it's mostly black. So I feel like I could tuck this one in down here somewhere. And it wouldn't look too crazy. And then last but not least, I think that's enough out of my, my seasonal. So this, um, I always forget to tell you all, these are from Simply Gilded. These are the large size photo albums. She has smaller ones. And I think she came out with a third size, but I don't have any of those. Um, and then this is to hook a charm on. But as you can see, I just write, I just took a little piece of white tape 
and wrote on uh, what was in here and stuck it on there. So these are mostly coffee and planning. So we definitely need a coffee cup. Ooh, okay. Um, these are from uh, Wilson Wild Sticker Co. This is the same place where I get my moon stickers for my monthly views. Um, and this one says ca Caffeine Queen, um, which made me immediately think Queen Bee. So let's put that one on there. Plus it's yellow. It's perfect. And I said I was going to put my coffee up here since I took up my normal Monday space. So let's put that there. Caffeine Queen for Queen Bee. Oh, this one with the flowers. These are kind of cute. Actually, it shows a little tea, a tea bag, but I feel like the flowers are kind of summery, spring summery. So, and oh my goodness. So in the summer when it's really hot, I switch from my, after I finish my morning coffee, I have, I make sun tea, iced tea with lots of lemon. So kind of like an Arnold Palmer. Those of you that have never heard that term, it's half lemonade, half tea. I just do really lemony iced tea um, and I haven't been drinking it really fast so I have this super strong black tea that um, I think I've been not drinking it fast enough because lately I have not been able to fall asleep at night I'm like laying there reading wide awake at midnight and normally I start to doze off at like 11 or 10 30 so I think I need to either drink less tea or drink it faster because wow it has been keeping me up okay and then anything so then this last one is catch-all so these are more of like vacuuming and washing dishes and cooking that kind of stuff so let's see in here and just cat cuddles and so there's all the same sticker shops just um, divided out by by category on what what they are napping lots of napping then we get into binge watching so I could put one of these maybe um, over here I like to put like running errands and getting groceries and stuff on the the to do's I've got lots of food ones this one's wine party, but it caught my eye because it's gold and brown and black. So let's put that on the weekend. Because if you don't have wine with your friends on the weekend, when, when are you going to have wine with your friends, you know? And then this one also catches my eye for having lots of these almost I guess I'm kind of going fall like but this is hot wings I love I love 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 hot wings so we're gonna put this one over here with my food box there we go all right nail polish stickers manicure stickers I can just grab oh grocery store yeah so here this what this one is a black kitty getting groceries which is perfect there's a little tiny bit of green, but I don't know. I don't know what specific days I'm going to end up doing laundry or um, there's a vacuuming one. Let's do vacuuming. But I just, if I'm going to vacuum, it's going to go on the to-do list. When I decide I'm getting groceries, it's going on the to-do list. So it makes sense to me to have them with my to-do lists, you know. <gasps> there's a bumblebee. Oh my gosh. So this is just a little freebie sampler. And look at That's that pumpkin, the calico, wearing a bumblebee suit. Perfect. We're putting that on there. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's put it on this side. Let's put it right up here by the weekend banner. That's perfect. There. Okay, that's definitely enough kitties. So now we just need to decide... Do I want to squeeze quotes on here? I I kind of don't. I feel like it's definitely busy enough. I'm going to write on here with black. So there'll be lots and lots of writing in all of these boxes. So we're going to call it done. Um, I do need to punch these two holes though. So I'm going to grab my single hole punch. 
This is from um, We Are Memory Keepers. And I, will, I have a link uh, for this off of Amazon again. And all my links now are affiliate links, just for full transparency. And that just means that a few pennies, avoid going into Jeff Bezos's pocket and um, come to me instead. So it does not cost you any extra. He just shares a tiny little bit of the wealth. So, all right. Let's put this in my planner. It's gonna look awesome on the gold discs. And one of my covers is a bumblebee cover. Cause I, again, I feel like August is, or well, it's my, it's the bookmark actually that I laminated, but there we go. There is my Save the Bees spread for the third week in August. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to have some fun. Um, don't worry about whether or not your scrapbook paper is big enough to cover the entire page. Um, if you see a shape that makes you think of another shape, you know, play that up, go with it. It can be so much fun to do that kind of stuff. So if you do like this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button for um, a like and um, subscribing, um, even hitting the reminder bell. Those all help me with YouTube's ag uh, alg algorithm um, and shows my videos as options to new people more often. So please consider it and thank you so much for watching.